Hello, God bless you. This is Pastor Peter Taft of Life by Design Ministries in Aurora, Colorado, where I am the senior pastor. And I want to just share with you a brief word of encouragement in the arena of your hope. You know, we're living in some trying times right now, times that we have not seen before. I call this personally the season of a lot because there's a lot going on. We have pandemic, we have floods, we have fires, we have social unrest, we have adjustments in our lifestyle and the way we're living. There is a lot going on. And it can be challenging to our hope if we don't have a firm grip on our hope from the word of God. So I just wanted to share in three simple points uh, from the word of God to strengthen you in the arena of your hope. The first one says this, is that the word of God says that his word endures for all generations. So we know that the word of God is designed to handle this season. Oh, that's some stirring, shouting, exciting um, word of promise right there, that the word of God endures to all generations. So it's designed to handle this season. And then we have another word out of Psalms 27 that says this, I had fainted, the writer says, except I but. I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That tells me that my faith is designed to be able to handle fainting seasons. So I shift from my doubt into my faith, and faith is the substance of things hoped for. Glory be to God. So my faith is designed for this season. I want you to know that your faith is designed to handle and carry you through this season. And then the last text that I want to share with you comes right out of the word of God in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews the 10 verses 23 through 25, reading out of the NLT translation. Let me read that for your hearing. It says, let us hold tightly without wavering to our hope, we, to the hope we affirm. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope that we affirm. For God can be trusted to keep his promise. Oh, glory be to God. Hold tight to the hope you affirm. Why? Because God can be trusted to keep his promise. Then the text continues to read, let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. That excites me. It gives me something to do inside of my holding on firmly to my hope, to encourage one another, watch this, with acts of love, Oh, glory be to God. To motivate each other with acts of love and good works. Now, you got to know that your faith works by love. So God is pushing us in the arena that's going to cause us to be successful. And he's telling us to encourage and motivate each other to for acts of love. Come on, acts of love and acts of good works. Glory be to God. Do that and watch God move. Let me continue to read. And it says, and let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that we see his return drawing near. You know, many churches right now are having to continue virtual services, and our assembly together is on a virtual platform. And that is no reason to forsake that assembly. Matter of fact, it's a reason to press in even harder. So show up in your virtual services. Encourage each other through phone calls and texts with acts of love. Amen. Let your love feast grow and blossom in this season and watch God move. Get a firm grip on your hope. Tighten down on it for this one very reason that God is faithful to his promise. Glory be to God. I pray this is encouraging to you. Yes, it's a season of a lot, but the word of God can carry us through. 
Don't you give up. Your faith is designed to handle this season. God bless you. Take care and encourage somebody the first chance you get. Amen. So let's agree together in the word of prayer concerning our hope. Let's believe God that we'll get a firm grip on our hope. Shake up our trust. God keep us in line. Let's pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless you, we praise you, and we give you glory. God, we thank you, God that you're a God that does not lie. We thank you, Father, that you keep your word and that we can trust you to keep your promise. God, strengthen us in the arena of our hope, God. Let our faith become unshakable. Father, we thank you right now that even as we walk through this season of a lot, our faith in you will stand. Oh, God, bless us right now to encourage each other. Bless us right now, God, to go beyond our comfort zone, God, and encourage each other in love. Strengthen one another, God. Greet each other, God, with a word of life. Let out of our bellies flow rivers of living water. Father, bless us, God, to be a light in the midst of this darkness. In Jesus' name, Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory for calling forth your sons, God, and blessing us to stand, God, in hope with a firm grip in faith that you will keep your promises. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you, amen. Praise God, go rejoicing, go encourage someone else in love, amen.